Hmm. Starting an epic adventure on the Appalachian Trail. Which backpack should I bring? Should I bring my ultra lightweight Pilgrim UL that can carry 20 to 25 pounds or my heavier tank, which is the Waymark through that weighs two pounds more and can carry 35 pounds. Now let's get a new pack. That's right. I got a brand new pack that I'm going to go on this long hiking trip that I've never used before. Okay, well, do you really think that's a good idea? Well, probably not. But stay tuned, I'm going to show you what I'm bringing along on this epic adventure. Before we hop into what my new backpack is and what gear I'm packing for the start of this trip, I want to show you what I'm going to be wearing and what I'm going to be carrying. When I start hiking on the trail, this is all the clothing that I'm going to be wearing, as well as a few items that I'm going to be carrying that are not in my backpack. These are the Cascade Mountain Tech carbon fiber trekking poles. Carbon fiber means they're light, and these are available on Amazon some of the cheapest carbon fiber uh, trekking poles that you're going to find. I've had these for years and they haven't broken yet. My shoes are going to be the Brooks Cascadia 16 trail running shoes. These are the Sasquatch edition. My shoes and all of my clothing have been treated with permethrin. I get my permethrin. Uh, it's a special kind where you can mix it up yourself so you have more. It's kind of a bulk thing and it doesn't smell. Uh, and they are available from the Tick Terminator. Okay, on my feet, I wear uh, Injinji toe sock liners. These are merino wool. Uh, I really like the toe sock liners to keep my toes apart and to prevent blisters. Over the top are darn tough merino wool socks with a lifetime warranty. On my head, I have my Under Armour uh, moisture wicking cap. I have Smart Wool five inch seam uh, running shorts, uh, very breathable and it keeps me from chafing downstairs. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing starting if the temperatures are warmer. I also have packed a short sleeve shirt, but this is my Wu Ru Wool Company Sun Hoodie, lightweight. This stuff dries quick. It's more stretchy, it's more durable, it's better than uh, your typical smart wool shirt from Wooroo Woo Wool Company. Over the top, if it's cool out, I am going to have my Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca hoodie. And I'm also, yes, I'm a fanny pack guy. This fanny pack, I've been wearing it forever, it's from Light AF, it's the XL, it's also made out of that Ultra 200 material. Uh, on the front of it here, I will have my phone in the little case and, and uh, holster for putting it on a tripod so I can pull that out when uh, Sasquatch or that bear comes surprising me. I have a bag of trail mix in there, M&Ms and Disappointment. I have some Midwest Backpacker stickers, so if I see anybody or we talk about my channel, I can give them a sticker. I have a wet wipe in there and my wallet. So that is everything that I'm carrying and wearing when I start out on the trail. With no further ado, this new backpack is the Pilgrim UL Highline. And you may say, don't you already have one of those backpacks? Well, yes, yes I do. This is also a Pilgrim UL Highline backpack. However, that backpack was last year's version. They upgraded it for this year and this backpack can carry 35 pounds, while that old one could carry about 22 pounds. So I don't have to decide between that ultra lightweight and that tank from Waymark. I have a new backpack that can carry the weight and is ultra lightweight. So let's hop right in. Of course, on the top of my backpack, I will always have my Doritos. I'll get more into what my food is in just a minute. On the outside of my backpack, you see here I have a sensor. This is the GoV sensor, and this is really my thermometer. I have an app on my phone 
where I can track not only what the temperature and the relative humidity is now, but on that app, it'll keep it for my entire trip. Okay, in the side pocket here, I have my Tokes Titanium 550 milliliter pot. Inside of it, my uh, MRS stove, a small lighter, and a fuel tank. This fuel tank, the small one, should last me uh, the entire trip, uh, which is about 13 days long. Should have plenty of fuel. Opposite side, side pocket. I have uh, 700 milliliters of water in my smart water bottle. And in this bag, this is my poles, uh, my spreader bars for my hammock, my poles for my tarp, my stakes for my tarp, and the ropes for the doors of my tarp. They're all in that one package. Okay, in the front pocket, which is located on the back, I have my water filter bag, the CNOC 2 liter. I have a brand new Sawyer filter because I tested my old one and it was completely clogged. I have some glasses that I mainly use when I'm in my hammock at night. I have my Visp raincoat from Enlightened Equipment, which is ultra light. Digging down in here. This is the ground sheet, custom printed ground sheet with a leaf on it from Hilltop Packs. This is the ground sheet that I will use underneath my hammock that I set my shoes on. Uh, when I get up to pee in the middle of the night, I just stand on that thing. Don't have to put any shoes on. Okay, I have a little rag here, a uh, quick drying rag either to wipe myself off or uh, to wipe down my tarp. I have a couple of these uh, lightweight rain mittens from REI. These rain mittens are awesome. Uh, if you don't have rain mittens, consider buying some, uh, not only for uh, protection from rain, but they can also keep your hands warm. And finally, I have some REI rain pants. Let's hop into what is inside of the Pilgrim UL backpack here. Uh, I really like this one where it has the uh, straps that you can kind of uh, buckle down and it kind of cinches things down for when the backpack gets a little smaller. I should mention that this is a 40 liter backpack. My other one was a 35 liter. Um, you can see I don't need this big of a backpack right now. Over on this trip, I'm gonna have three legs to my trip and the third leg, uh, I'm going to have to carry more food. And actually, I'm going to be going through the Smoky Mountains National Park. And in the National Park, if there's room in the shelters, you have to sleep in a shelter. Sleeping in a hammock, I don't carry a sleep pad usually. However, in my second resupply, I have my uh, Nemo, Nemo, Nemo Tensor. Uh, air inflatable pad, wide, long. And uh, I'm gonna take that out of my resupply. And that and my extra food is gonna fill up this backpack for the last four and a half days of my trip. Okay, unroll it. In the top of my pack, this is my food bag. This is the food that I am going to start out with. This is all the food that I'm gonna start with on the first leg of my trip other than that bag of trail mix that's inside my fanny pack. This is my food bag. It is a Dyneema custom printed food bag from Hilltop Packs. It is ultra lightweight. I've had this thing for four years. It's also very durable and very waterproof. Inside there, I will have two Ziploc bags. One will serve as a garbage bag and the other will serve as a bag for my Doritos after I open them and start eating them. And as I eat them, they will go inside of my food bag and not on the top of my backpack. Inside of that food bag, I have my long-handled spork 
and I have my trail toothbrush here that attaches right on the end uh, of my spork, which is available at Garage Grown Gear. My toothpaste and a sack with my bear line inside of it. Uh, also inside of here, I have a little plastic reel that my line goes around so it doesn't get uh, all mingled up and have to deal with that every time uh, I get to camp. Okay, so three and a half days. It may look like I don't have enough food for three and a half days. The truth is uh, I am gonna be going through an outfitter uh, on the second or third day, I can't remember, where I can grab a little bit more food there and I don't have to carry it for the first uh, day or two until I get to that spot. So each morning for breakfast, I have two of these Hostess uh, Cinnamon Strudel Coffee Cakes. Uh, so I have two of them here and one of my breakfasts will be at that outfitter. Uh, each night for dinner, I should mention for lunch, uh, for lunch, I have three lunches here. I have these beef sticks from Sims that I bought, bought at Aldi. They're smaller. There's 12 of them in here. Each lunch is four beef sticks and some Doritos. So there are three lunches here. And there's extra Doritos that I can eat at dinner at night. So my dinners, uh, I only have two of them here. <clears throat> I'm splitting up on this trip between Peak Refuel. Fuel. Biscuits and gravy is my favorite dinner. This has 1,100 calories in it. I'm always looking for more calories when I'm hiking the big miles. And spaghetti uh, and meat sauce, which is frankly one of the best from Mountain House. Each night I always have a king size candy bar uh, before going to bed and uh, kind of as my treat uh, for making it through the day and hiking all those miles. I also have, these will go in my fanny pack after that first day. These are salt stick. Uh, they are for uh, putting in my water to help me from cramping and uh, just uh, help out with all of the sweating that I may be doing. I have a couple of star crunches, a couple of oatmeal pies, and my newest favorite thing is these Nature Valley Savory Granola Bars. The Everything Bagel Granola Bar is very good. So this is everything that I'm starting out with in my food bag. I have those resupplies, uh, the second one here, for another three and a half days and the last one for four and a half days. Let's hop back into the pack. There are three layers on here. The top layer was the food, the middle layer. Uh, this is my War Bonnet Ridge Runner Bridge Hammock. I love my bridge hammock. It may not be as ultra lightweight as uh, my tent, but it's much more comfortable and I am a lot more comfortable sleeping in this when it's raining out, packing up and setting up in the rain because I can do that all under my tarp, which is in this bag. If you haven't noticed, all of my stuff sacks here are made out of the white Ultra 200 material, which is the same material that this new backpack is made out of. So this is the Thunderfly from War Bonnet. It's a partial tarp where it does have some doors on it but they don't go down all the way. I found that I can really lower that down to the ground and have really good protection if needed. Okay, and this next level here, before we get into the stuff sack, I have my electronics bag. So this is the bag that goes inside of my hammock when I, when I set up. And inside of my electronics bag that's made out of the Ultra 200 material, I have a humongous anchor power bank. Now this thing, I believe it's 27,500 27, milliamps, and I need this much juice when I am shooting video, uh, I listen to a Bluetooth speaker, I'm gonna be using my phone for navigation, I have my headlamp, I have uh, other electronics that we're gonna talk about here, and they all need to be charged. I have some, uh, Advil PM and some other pills that I take at night. Uh, I have my Nightcore NU25 headlamp. Tried and true and I love that thing. I've been using it forever. And then I have cords. Cord for charging my phone. I have some uh, corded earbuds. I have a uh, different uh, cord uh, 
Uh, this is the old USB, this is the new USB, all sorts of cords for charging different things. This is my Diddy bag, which is in this high-tech Ziploc bag. I like it because you can see inside of it and it's ultra lightweight and let's be frank, it's cheap. All right, I have some wet ones in there. I have a Salty Bridges chafing ointment. Instead of bringing body glide, I don't chafe that much, but if I do, I want to be prepared. And this little pet kit is small and light. I have all sorts of things in here. I have some cold medicine. I have uh, extra, one of these big thick rubber bands uh, that's a spare part for my hammock. I have an extra cap for my water bottle. Chapstick uh, with some tape on it. A Luca tape, it's really good for uh, uh, blisters and on your feet. An extra lighter. I have my knife in here. The Dermasafe super, super ultra lightweight knife uh, available on Garage Grown Gear. Love it. Uh, some allergy medicine, so if I get into some weeds that itch or I eat something, uh, it, it's just really good to have. Uh, some extra earplugs, uh, all sorts of uh, things in here. Uh, this is a titanium post that I use. Uh, for hanging my food bag up from bears. This is an extra one. I do have another one that you'll see in a minute. And finally, the last thing is just a couple really small carabiners. Uh, they come in handy when you're out on the trail. Okay, the next layer, this is my Sea to Summit 10 liter stuff sack. It is waterproof, it is ultra lightweight, and I love these uh, stuff sacks that are compression bags because they take up a lot less room in your pack. It's still ultra lightweight. So in this bag is basically all of my extra clothes. I have my uh, REI Puffy here uh, with a hood. I love it. Uh, it has all sorts of uh, trail cred and holes in it. So it's been around the block, but uh, that's really my pajamas. I love sleeping in that thing with the hood up. This is my pillow for inside my hammock. It is uh, half down and half inflatable uh, from Trailcraft. Uh, extra pair of underwear. These are possum down gloves. Uh, they're sold by z -Packs. These gloves Keep my hands warm, and if you layer them with those rain mittens, even when it gets down to freezing temperatures, your hands are going to be warm. And I should know, because my hands get cold very easily. Okay, we have uh, just a, a pair of underwear, long underwear here, just uh, polyester. These are my pants most of the time. You'll notice I don't have any pants other than my rain pants and these long underwear, and that seems to work for me. Here's an extra pair of darn tough socks. Uh, this is my Appalachian Gear Company Alpaca Buff. Uh, keeping your neck warm, at least for me, keeps me very warm. This is my spare uh, t-shirt. So depending on what the temperatures are, um, this is a t-shirt. It's uh, from Wooroo Wool Company which I really love. If, if you want to get a merino wool shirt, don't buy smart wool. Go to Wooroo, it's online. And this is a merino wool blend, which makes it stretchy. It uh, retains heat better, all sorts of characteristics. It dries quicker uh, that make it better than 100% merino or a smart wool shirt. All right, that's everything in there. And then, the very bottom layer of the pack is a 20 liter Sea to Summit compression dry bag, ultra lightweight. I use this thing all the time. This isn't new, but inside of here on this trip, uh, the temperatures in town uh, for this time of year, I see the lows at night are in the mid 30s. When we go up in elevation in the mountains, it's going to be colder. 
Um, and you know, the towns are probably two to 3,000 feet lower. Every thousand feet you go up, it's about seven degrees colder. So I need some 20 degree quilts. When I'm in a hammock, I need two quilts. So I have two 20 degree quilts in here. This is my under quilt, which is 950 uh, fill power down. It's from Local Libre. A bridge hammock has a different type of uh, under quilt than a gathered end hammock. These are my goose feet down gear booties. These I love. If you get cold hands or cold feet, these are great, especially if you're pushing the limits of your quilts, your feet will stay warm in these. And I also like these because uh, they're very loose. So at night, I don't have the compression of socks on my feet and they can breathe and uh, recuperate for the next day. And this is my hammock gear, uh, 20 degree quilt. Uh, it has 950 uh, fill power down. This is kind of their premium quilt and uh, it does just fine for the temperature rating that it has. A couple other quick things on the outside. On, the, on my shoulder straps in front, I have my Garmin InReach Mini, which uh, if you don't know, uh, there's an SOS button on there. Uh, my wife can track me on her computer, her phone, so she doesn't have to worry about me. She can message me on there. Very handy. They aren't cheap, but it's well worth it. Uh, on my right shoulder strap here is my uh, tripod that I use for shooting my videos in a holster made again by Trailcraft, which is my buddy Miyagi. On the sternum strap is my Bluetooth speaker. This is the 39G from Knox Gear. Uh, it's super small. It, I don't play it loud. If I see other people, it's got a little button on here where I just stop it quick. So it isn't disrespectful and it works well for me because I can still hear the environment around me. And on the other shoulder, I have my Waymark Gear Company uh, water pocket uh, for my shoulder strap. And I'll have a second 700 milliliter smart water bottle on there. That's it. I hope. Did I talk about everything? Am I missing anything? If future me and editing missed anything, you can insert it right here. But if not, I'm super excited for this trip. I'm heading out real soon. Uh, I have a couple resupply boxes that I have to get mailed. But if you want to see my adventure, which the videos are going to be starting a week from today, go ahead and hit subscribe, punch that bell notification. They'll tell you when that video comes out and you can be one of the first ones to watch it. There are going to be many videos from this adventure and I'm going to put a lot of effort into them. So they should be good. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Hey, if I'm out on the AT and I see you, I guess I will see you on the trail.